everyone, my name's Jane and welcome to Living Rebels Closet and if you just found me, I would love it if you subscribe and then you can follow along with me. So today's video is another tutorial, really easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use your fabric scraps, making little hair bow ties and bigger hair bow ties. So if there's something you fancy doing, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. And welcome back. So yeah, another scrap busting project to get your teeth into. Really simple, really quick to make. Uh, we've all got scraps and following on from my gorgeous quilted coasters, which everybody seems to love, I have made something else with my scraps because I have got a serious lot of scraps and I hate throwing scraps out if you like me. And I think it's good to reuse, recycle, you know, use it up so, and they make the prettiest gifts. So, like I said in the intro, we've got the cute little hair bow ties, cutest thing. I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing them and a little video of me wearing it in my hair just to give you an idea. And I've just made a few in my little, obviously, floral print scraps that I had. And also in the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and make the larger bow which is the larger bow tie as well to pop in your hair so you've got two options the larger one obviously the smaller one and as i say you can make them in no time and these these ones take the tiniest bit of scraps up which are absolutely ideal these take a little bit more scrap but more length scrap um, but still really pretty to make i love them and obviously the set off your outfit as well and then bring a little bit of colour into your outfit if you're wearing something plain like I've got on my plain poppy pinny for today then I've just popped that one in my hair and it just brings a little pop of colour so they're great for doing that as well not just for gift ideas for yourself I'll be wearing mine all the time I've got loads of them cut out and all my scraps so stay tuned and I'll show you how to make these so if you want to follow along with me in the tutorial, I've got a free PDF pattern that I've, I've created for you. So if you want to pause the video, download the PDF pattern, cut it out, stick it together, cut it out, and then press play, and then you can follow along and you can actually follow along with me with your template right in front of you. But yeah, there's a free PDF template, which you're more than welcome to use. So without further ado, without any more of my waffling, let's go to the tutorial. So once you've downloaded the PDF pattern, just going to stick it together and I've just put some registration marks on there to help you line up the pattern. So I'm just sticking it together, ready to cut out. Just using my paper blade on my rotary cutter to cut out the paper ones. I have two rotary cutters, one for fabric and one for cutting paper. So I just quickly cut out the templates. And Jody's joining us there. And you just need some hair ties. And obviously scrap fabrics. And just trying to find the best position to put my template on and simply cut out. Now I'll put a couple of notches in if you need to use them just to leave the opening for when you stitch the two pieces together. So I'm just putting them right sides together now. So right sides together and just pinning in place. And then I'm just gonna put the template back on top and just do a couple of snips at the notches, just so I can see how big to leave the opening. But you don't have to do this if you're confident enough, just leave enough opening for you to turn it the right way through. So I'm now gonna go over to the machine and sew between those notches all the way around using my one centimetre seam allowance and finish at the second notch 
leaving enough space for my opening to turn it through. So let's go to the machine and I'm just going to line up my foot against the edge of the fabric and use my one centimetre seam allowance. I'm just pivoting at the points there on the end. And just when I come to the last notch, stitched up to there and then just back tack. Remove my pins and I've got a big enough opening to turn it through. I'm just going to trim off some of the bulk of the both ends there. And I'm just going to turn it through and just use my faithful crocheting hook just to poke the ends nice and neat. like so and I've just got to close up my opening and give it a press. So I'm just going to pin it in place and just stitch that opening closed on the machine and just stitch close to the edge to close that opening and back tack to finish. Like so. Trim off the excess stitching thread and just give it a press. And that's how easy that is to make. And I'm just going to literally pop it through the hair tie and tie it in a knot to create that little bow on the elastic band there. And just tighten the knot. And there you have cute little hair tie. How easy were they to make? And just quickly making another one with some more pretty fabric scraps that I've got. The larger hair bow tie it's a very similar process obviously I'm just using the larger template and got some scrap fabric and just need to give it a press so I've chosen this pretty viscose fabric give it a quick press because it's been in my scrap box ready to cut it out, just place your template onto your fabric and cut it out. And then again you can snip the notches if you feel you need to for your opening and then onto the machine, one centimetre seam allowance and stitch between those notches. And just pivot at the end and stitch all the way around and repeat to the other side back tack at the last notch and then turn it through again I'm using my crochet hook to get that nice point and then just press so it's nice and neat and I just need to close that opening on the machine and there we go, all done and it's as simple as the small hair ties, you just literally pop it through your elastic band and I like to make sure that it's equal both sides and then just form my bow and tighten it and there you go, how simple is that? So 
So that's it, how easy was that to make both the little ones and the larger one? I just absolutely love them. And that one's gonna be mine, the green one, because I think it goes quite well too with my green poppy pinny for. And also, it's the scraps off my Dorothy dress. It's the scrap fabric that I used when I made that, and I just thought how lovely would that make, because it's just a, a little added touch to my outfit when I put my Dorothy dress on. Pattern's coming for that very soon. Well, the pattern's coming for that soon. This pattern's coming first, the Poppy Pinny for. And if you've just found me and you don't know, I also do a ready to wear selection now of clothing. And this is the Poppy Pinny for ready to wear. These are all earmarked to go out in the post. Thank you so much for all those orders. I'm absolutely blown away by your support. Absolutely thrilled to bits and I'm loving this side of uh, my sewing journey. And yeah, so these are all earmarked to go out. I've got large, medium and some smalls going out and the actual PDF and the paper pattern is coming along absolutely brilliantly. It's going to be published, fingers crossed, in January 2021, so not long for all of those of you who would prefer to make your own poppy pinny for. I'll pop some pictures of me wearing it so you know what it looks like and I just absolutely love it. I did this in the green linen and it's got the buttons down the back absolutely love it and I've got my crochet collar on today that I just designed and that will be a full tutorial over on my crochet channel so it's all go here at Loopy Mabel's Closet and uh, yes I say the PDF will be out PDF and the paper pattern will be hopefully out in January so not long to wait now so thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video this tutorial hope you did I enjoy really do enjoy making them for you I've got maybe maybe might be able to squeeze another one in before Christmas on using up your scraps and obviously I've got my cosy vlogs coming to, it'll be the winter cosy vlog instead of the autumn because we're into winter now and obviously the usual sewing makes and what have you. So until the next time, thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, and before I go, just wondering where I am sitting today, slightly different position because my gorgeous little cat Poppy is in my chair and I haven't got the heart to move her. So I'm just sitting on my sewing chair, which is absolutely fine. Actually, it's quite good because I can swivel on it anyway so until the next time thanks for joining me today get your scraps used up don't forget to tag me if you do make any of these hair accessories on instagram and use loopy mabel's closet i love to see what you've been making and uh, yeah i shall see you on my next sewing vlog so until then please take care and happy scrappy sewing